what's up you guys today i'll be doing another tutorial i know i've been slacking on these tutorials but now i'm back on my my grind my laptop went out but you know i got a new one i'm back um at the bottom you see it's a trial period i have not downloaded it uh the full version yet i have it i have not downloaded it yet i just got this laptop <clears throat> and i'm in a rush to help you guys but yeah today i'll be doing a tutorial on how to get clear vocals in mixcraft 8 without isotope ozone 5 or 7 but if you have isotope ozone 5 or 7 you could go down to um my video right here and you can see how to use it <clears throat> But yeah, this is for the people who do not want to purchase or do not have the funds to purchase Isotope Ozone 7, 5, or anything. But if you need that, I do have that for sale for a cheap, 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 really cheap price. Um, all prices for everything will be in the link, will be in the description below. My contact will be in the description below. below but le yeah, let's get to it. These are all of my presets. So basically the first preset I use is full reset. You can pause this video, stop and screenshot because I did move two of these knobs around. This one and that one. So you could pause, screenshot. <clears throat> there aren't any major changes, but yes, I did move those two around. Um, next, Patronic Tube EQ. The only thing I missed with in here is the gain knob. If you move it more to the left, it will give you a muffled up, stuffy sound. If you move it more to the right, it will give you a distorted sound. So, I don't put it in the middle. Well, you can depending on how crispy you want it to be or how you want it to sound. So, this is really for your ear. But, I put it like three notches right of the middle. But, yes, yeah, the only thing I mess with is the gain knob in here. And next, I use Easy Q Equalizer. Unless you want your voice to sound muffled up and distorted... Do not put it over to the left. Do not put it over to the down and to the left. Warm and dark. <clears throat> um, but if you want it to sound clear and bright, obviously you move it up and you move it to the right. Like this, like this is enough. All, e all EQs are for your ears only. I cannot tell you what to use because we have different voices. Your voice may be higher, your voice may be deeper. So I really can't tell you. You have to hear for yourself. But these are the ones that work for me. I will show you how it sounds, but if you like how it works for me, with all do, use it. <clears throat> but yes, I put it right here. Sometimes I move it up if I needed to sound more bright. I needed to sound clear. So yes, this is basically where I put it. <clears throat> and if it doesn't sound bright enough to you, you can always, like I say, don't move it down. You can always move it up to get it clear. Make sure you don't put it all the way up. Like, move it to the right some. Not, don't put it all the way over here and do it. It's not going to work out, I promise you. <clears throat> but classic compressor, pre-mastering. Um, sometimes I go in here and I mess with the threshold. Sometimes I, if it's too much, I feel like it's too much compression, I will bring it down to the four. But you need compression, though, so don't put it on zero. So I will, sometimes I will bring it down to the four. Or if it's not enough, I will bring it over. I can't really say where I will bring it over, but I will bring it over. Do not bring it down to the 40. I would say do not bring it past 28. Negative 28, I'm sorry. Um, The next one is Acoustical Reverb. <clears throat> this is another one for your ears because I don't know how your song sounds. I don't know what, what sound you're looking for, but I don't know why this one. Okay, I use zero for this one. But <clears throat> I didn't want any, any reverb on here. But I still wanted the effect. It's like the wet mix is how much, how you want it to sound off. I really, I wanted it on there, but I didn't really want it to sound off. So I wanted it on there, but I didn't want you to hear it. You know how that sound like you want, you go in the auditorium and you holler. Yeah, that's basically how it sounds like an echoey sound. But I would say do not move it past five. Unless you just want it to sound like you in a stadium, a uh, 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 empty, quiet stadium. So do not move it past five. You can take it as low as you want. <clears throat> but wet mix is really the only thing that unless you want don't want as much reverberate. Like I said, reverberation is still on there. You just really can't hear it like you would hear if I turned this all the way up. But if you don't want if you have it on five and you don't want the reverberation as much, you can always bring it down. Um my next one. 
acoustic or delay. Like I say, this is a preset you would you want you choose if you want on your song. You don't have to use this one. I just chose to use it because it made the song sound better. It's like basically well a delay. <clears throat> you know, like I can I kinda repeat the words right after you say it, but you want it to sound good, you know. But the only thing I use in here is wet mix and delay. Um wet mix don't go over ten for this one. Um, because you don't want it too loud. You don't want to hear it over your words. It's not going to sound good. Delay, this is on you. This is how fast your song is, how slow your song is, how fast your lyrics are, how, how slow your lyrics are. So, the delay is up to you. Web mix, no over 10. Um, G-Snap pitch correction. I will be doing, I will be, uh, doing another tutorial on how to do this. So, stay tuned for this one. For that one, I will be doing another tutorial on G-Snap Pitch Correction. <clears throat> but this is for those of you who don't have Isotope. I mean, th for those of you who don't have Auto-Tune. Auto but like I say, I'm selling Isotope, Auto-Tune, Mixcraft 7, Mixcraft 8, all that. The prices will be in the uh, description. My email will be in the description. All of that. But yeah, basically, I'm going to slide this down so you can see all of them. Stop it right now and screenshot these are all the presets you need and before anyone asks yes they have to be in order they have like some people choose to put their compressor first and then their eqs but for me i feel like what are you compressing like if you don't have like what are you compressing like you're compressing your voice and you don't even you haven't even fixed it up yet so that's why i put the eqs on first then i do the compressor and then i do the rest of the effects so you can choose to do that or you can put your, if you don't like how it sounds, you can move your compressor. You, it's just a simple slide. Not that one. Simple slide and move that up there. But I don't do it that way. But yes, like I said, stop it. Screenshot. I'm going to show you how my uh, presets sound. I'm going to show you my voice without the presets, first of all. I hold my own and if I fall, I get back up on my feet. They switching on me, changing on me. I can't let it face me. I stayed the same throughout my pain. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm going to replay that again because I still have some effects on. So. I hold my own and if I fall, I get back up on my feet. They switching on me, changing on me. I can't let it face me. I stay and I'm going to put on the effects. I hold my own and if I fall, I get back up on my feet. They switching on me, changing on me. I can't let it face me. I stay and the I'm same. And I'm going to do it like I said, move the compressor to the top. I hold my own and if I fall, I get back up on my feet. They switching on me, changing on me. I can't let it face me. I stay the same through all my pain. No, I can't let it change me. I stay the same through all that pain and never let it change me. I hold my own and if I fall, I get back up on my feet. They switching on me, changing on so me. So basically, basically it compresses it like it lowers down your EQ just a little bit more if you feel like it's too strong and you've tried everything. But I mean... For this particular song, sometimes, like I say, sometimes I do put the compressor first, depending upon the song and how you want it to sound. Like, if you want it crispy, you will put the compressor after the EQ. But I wanted it crispy, so that's how I did it. But if you want it, like, you know, a soft, warm sound, put the compressor first before anything. But, I mean, yeah, that's basically my, um, my presets. Like I said, this is a tutorial on how to get clear vocals and isotope. And I'm sorry. How to get clear vocus in Mixcraft 8 without isotope. Um, and I'm going to let you hear it with everything on there. So you can see how it sounds. The full, like the full song. And if you want to know how you, you, you want to see how the quality is on my song without isotope. Go to these two songs right here. Take it back in true colors. That's how you, you will see how it sounds without isotope. Like I said, you're trying to learn how to use Isotope, go to the, go to this right here. And if you want to hear songs with Isotope, you can go to every song here and below. But yes, I'm going to let you hear the full song. Well, some of the song. I hold my own and if I fall, I get back up on my feet. They switching on me, changing on me. I can't let it face me. I stay the same through all my pain. No, I can't let it change me. I stay the same through all that pain. And never let it change me. I hold my own and if I fall, I get back up on my feet. They switch. You need any tutorials, email, contact will be in the description below.
Comment below if needed.